Hey, how's it going? And today I'm going to show you how to animate a metahuman with a UE4 FBX export file. And this is based on the last tutorial that I did of how I got a UE4 animation. And then it's a UE4 animation and then I just export it as an FBX file. Then I take that FBX file and I use that to animate a metahuman. So that sounds more complicated than it is probably, but there's a link in the description to the tutorial that I'm talking about where I show you how to export out a UE4 FBX file. And then once that's done, I'm in a new 5.2 third person template project right here. And we're just going to go ahead and add a metahuman to it. So I have some metahumans here. I've already downloaded this one. And so I'm just going to add it to the project real fast. She looks like a woman here, like a like a woman in her 20s. <laughs> but when I look at her here, she looks like a kid, but it's funny. So anyway, <laughs> she's supposed to be a, a woman in her 30s. Anyway, we'll go in here and it's V1, BP underscore V1. And we'll drag that onto the scene. This just takes a second, a couple minutes to download. I'm updating this because the last tutorial I did like this is out of date. It doesn't work with 5.21. And so I thought it was important to update it. Okay, so anyway, we're going to have to enable all these plugins again. So we'll enable, enable, enable. I thought Unreal had fixed an issue. We have to do a restart and we can save. I thought that they had fixed what I considered to be like a bug in 5.1, but in 5.2, it looks like they brought the bug back. So <laughs> I have no idea what's going on and I have no idea what's gonna happen with 5.3. So this only applies to 5.2. And this is, like I said, importing a UE4 FBX animation into Unreal Engine 5.2 to animate a metahuman. So anyway, we're gonna come down here and there's our Alapishik uh, see, we got the hair thing going on again. So it, it's really weird. They get rid of one error and then another one pops up. That's very easy to fix. So let's go ahead and fix what needs to be fixed here. And then we'll import the FBX file. So let's double click into this blueprint real fast. We'll go ahead and dock it up top. Now for the hair, we just come here. It's negative one. That's a problem. Just set it to zero and that's problem solved. So I'll compile and save. It doesn't seem responsive here like when i i know it needs to be compiled but then it says good to go i didn't see i've never seen that too i've never seen that before good to go anyway what we're going to do is we're going to click on the the body right here and we're going to go into this blueprint here the animation it's not the animation blueprint it's just the editor really this is the skeletal mesh editor is what it looks like but it has the, the skeletal tree here and i don't see what we need to see here so we have to click that little gear and show ret retargeting options and this is the part that's messed up in 5.1 they fixed this and in this one it's it's messed up again so for these first two the root and the pelvis we select those hit control we just we really just want to set this to animation and then for all these other ones we just select them click the first one come all the way down to the bottom hit shift select these remaining ones right click and recursively set translation regarding retargeting skeleton and that's all we have to do to fix it so animation animation and then all the rest is skeleton and that's it and we want to save that we need to save all that now when we go to import our FBX, it'll, it should be okay. So now we're going to go add, import, and I have it on my desktop. So these FBX files are UE4 animations that were in Unreal Engine 4, and I simply exported them. I right-clicked, I went to Asset Action, and then I just exported them as an FBX file. So this is the hip-hop dancing one, and we'll just go Open. And when it comes in, we just have to tie it to the metahuman base skeleton. And that should be all we have to do and go import all. And we get this error, but it doesn't hurt anything. And I can clear that. And if I look down here, you'll see that it looks normal. If it's not uh, right, if this rig isn't set right, this will be all stretched out and really weird. So then all we have to do is select the body here come over here 
into select the body and is there a tab there should be a tab that says animation I don't know why I don't see it here so she's selected oh I guess I gotta be on the body sorry about that so you can't be on this you gotta be on the body okay and then here where it says animation mode you gotta click here and go use animation asset and then we just simply set it to our hip hop right there hip hop dancing and if we hit play she should be over here doing her thing and she is so everything's good everything's good everything's looking good now I'm gonna stop here in the next tutorial I'm gonna show I'm gonna try to bake this out as an animation sequence so then we can manipulate this so that's in the very next tutorial so stay tuned and thanks for watching